In this question, we have been asked to perform 1001-11. It's a binary subtraction question. So, one will be considered as mu nude and the other one will be the subtrahend. Mu nude, the number being subtracted from. Subtrahend, number being subtracted. As we have this subtrahend 1, 1. So, we have write it right beneath these two and we have to mark two more zeros just just to compensate with the number of digit mu need here. So remember, borrowing 1 from next column is equal to 2 in binary subtraction. As we know from our school times that borrowing 1 from next column to present or actio column and those decimal numbers is equal to 10 because they have base 10. And here we have base 2, so borrowing 1 from next column will give us two because of the base it has in the present columns. We have one minus one that's equal to zero. Now we have one minus zero that can't be done. That is why I have to go to next column and borrow one. But I can't do that. That is why I have to go to next column. I will borrow one and when I do so it will become zero and here it will borrowing one from next column is equal to two in this column and then this one I have how to take borrow then from this two so when i borrow one from here so this one will become one and here it will be equal to two so now two minus one will give us one and now one minus zero will give us one and zero minus zero will give us zero all right let's convert into decimal and see and verify our results we know this column has a weight of one this column has has a weight of 2, this column has a weight of 4 and this one has a weight of 8. The mu unit will be m i n in short. So this 1 times 8 will be equal to 8 plus 0 times 4 is equal to 0 plus 0 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 times 1 is equal to 1 that's equal to 9. Now this subtrahend 0 times 8 is equal to 0, 0 times 4 is equal to 0, 1 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Now that's equal to 3. So the difference between 9 and subtracting 3 from 9 will give us 6. Now let's see this difference. 0 times 8 is equal to 0 plus 1 times 4 is equal to 4 plus 1 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 0 times 1 is equal to 0. So 4 plus 2 is also gave us 6. So yes our process is correct.